In this video, we are taking you on a journey to extreme East India, about 70 miles from the Myanmar border to the city of Imphal. Over one million people reside here, almost cut off from the world entirely by mountains on all sides. A place where electricity runs only two hours a day and virtually no running water. Restricted for access until just last year, it's almost like going back in time. The mission. Partner with the orphanage there to help build a self-sustainable source of food and energy using materials sourced 100% locally. These systems will be low-tech and easily managed within the orphanage and can be self-reproduced. Phase one of this goal is to build a modular 12-barrel aquaponic system designed to produce an abundance of fish and vegetables and can serve 90% of the water needed to grow. Barrel ponics can be built as big as you want or as small as you want using all local materials anywhere in the world. That's why we chose it. To help speed this process up, a few months back, Travis Huey, the inventor of the barrel ponics model, came down to the inner city and let us take notes as he built one of these systems as a gift to a local family. This will be just a start as we aim to return to build upon this system with alternate energy solutions, water solutions, permaculture practices, vertical growing, and biogas systems that will provide all the cooking fuel for the orphanage and convert food waste on site to valuable fuel for use. This thing's just about to flush every 30 minutes to an hour. This fills up. When it gets to here, it fills the bottle up, and here's the water coming up right here. When this thing gets heavy enough, it'll drop, and the whole thing will dump and fill up all the grow beds. Watch it, watch it. Here it is. Three, two, one. Bam! There it is. Somewhere between Kansas City and New Delhi, somebody opened my luggage and opened my box of granola bars and one was gone. <laughs> <laughs> they were hungry. Yes. We don't know who it was. So here we are in Imphal, 6.30 a.m. The city's just waking up. The electricity just came back on and uh, People lighting fires in the streets, pretty crazy. It actually could be a pretty crazy day. It's election day, and who knows what could happen. I think the whole city's going to shut down. I think I've seen about 100 AK-47s and police officers and uh, lots of extra force out here. So uh, all the shops are shut down. We're kind of on a time crunch. Yesterday, right when we got off the plane, we were rushed to the marketplace to pick up all the parts we needed, and we were... Uh, escorted down a dark alleyway to this small room full of plumbing parts, dark, no lights in there. And uh, just before we were about to check out, the store owner got nervous and said, I got to shut down my store. Uh, we won't be open for three days because of the elections and shut the whole thing down. So we got quite the snag on our hands. Um, so we're going to get started on other things to help this thing pulls through. Uh, the store owner said he may be able to call us and let us in two days from now, just for an hour, so. It's a lot different over here. Last night I had black boogers just from the air here. Air's pretty thick. So we ordered five eggs and we ended up with 10 eggs. <laughs> five plates, eggs. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now we ordered two toasts and we get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight <laughs> toasts, 10 eggs. <laughs> now we're going for the French toast to see what happens. <laughs> And now we're off to the village. It's about a 10 minute drive. We are eager to meet our new friends at the orphanage, check out the lay of the land and see just how we're gonna build this aquaponic system. <laughs> Is anybody riding the cows? The cows. The cows. Riding. Riding. No. <laughs> no riding the cows. Yeah, they are domesticating it and they produce milk from that. Yeah. And, some, and most often they use it in plowing the field. Okay. But no riding. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, please. Well, that's 
good. Oh! Big kick. Boom! Ama, Ani, Ahum, Mari, Manga, No, Manga, Manga, Oh, I got it. Ama, Ani, Ahum, Mari, Oh, yeah. Charba, 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 Saki, 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 I love you. I I give him Kabi Kumar Kawi. I give him Daniel Kawi. I give him Faith Daniels Kawi. I give him Subol Kawi. So, how much for a day's wages? Uh, it's around 130 rupees a day for common people. So, maybe $3 a day? Uh, yeah, that's it. Wow. <laughs> this area? Man, this is perfect. This is perfect. Man, this is great. This is exactly the right size. Wow. So it will be the horizontal, uh, no, this side mm -hmm. will be longer than the. Yeah, this will be the long. South, this will be long. The, yeah, left. the hole that we dig, the hole is about three feet. Two feet. This wide and about eight feet. Oh, well. Toolbox. <laughs> right Toolbox. Here. Wow. <laughs> well, these things are very nice. Check this out. Man. The flashlight. Oh, oh, the best light. And this is a saw. Wow. Oh, shadow. Mm. <laughs> you know, yeah. um, most of the wood masons, uh, most of the wood constructors, uh -huh. they, they don't use such type of tools. Now our impulse city is too small. <laughs> <laughs> Do you just need uh, a SIM to, in, to connect to yeah, the Yeah, maybe a SIM. A SIM card. Co okay, call me. I'll arrange it. Is it different angles? It's about this thing. Oh. We'll start with 10. Brent, do you want to tell what we're doing here? Uh, looking at the wood that we have available, um, it's rough on lumber straight up the mill. This mm -hmm. kind of Different sizes than we're used to, so we're trying to figure out. Um, but we can piece together. We're trying to figure out what we need in order to do the project. Yeah. <laughs> because we have to recalculate everything. We, yeah. of course, okay. use dimension lumber yeah. in the U.S. Uh, so right now we're, we're or, marking out we the size <laughs> of this whole thing. It's 104 inches wide. And how long is it? The hole is uh, 54 inches wide and 104 inches long. And you're very strong. All right. Start hammer on the plane, wow. but it's okay because we have this. <laughs> <laughs> this will work just fine. <laughs> you're doing great, man. Really? Yeah, you hit it all the way in. Wow. So I'm doing great. Yeah. There will be a mess to see this kind of hammer. <laughs> <laughs> That's our best hammer right there. Okay. Now pull. Pull this finger. Yeah. yeah. Now put your hand up here. And push down. Uh-huh. It's okay. You got it. There you go. Hey! Sorry. <laughs> okay. Pull, pull this side. Pull out there. Maybe this much. Perfect. Perfect.
Perfect. Take out more. Okay. So. <laughs> wow. So we didn't hit a single rock. Incredible. How deep do we go? Three and a half? Yeah. So we're leaving our first day at work. Got a lot done here. Had a lot of fun. You wash your hands? Maybe. Okay, let's go there. Okay, let's go. Okay, what is this game? How do I play? Okay. One, two, three. Ready or not, here I come. That's not fair. Okay, I'll show you a trick. You ready? Stand back. I'm gonna do a flip. Back a little more. One. So we're in the van and we've got a lot of people. There's about 18 or 19 people. We've got 19 people in the car. So it's crowded and lots of fun. <laughs> Back to the hotel. It has been a great and terrible day today. We just got word seven people were murdered heading back into the mountains. Apparently some group didn't like the way they voted. So we got one, two, three, four, five. And then a piece of scotch tape right here. Hold it all together. Okay, so we got a pretty big issue here. We had a power surge come through here and blow the fuse in this. And now we can't charge our rechargeable batteries that we're doing the whole system with rechargeable uh, 19 volt cordless drill, cordless saw, and we need to be able to come back and charge our batteries. So I'm going to try to pop this fuse out, wrap it in aluminum foil, and risk blowing my charger up. But I don't dare plug my iPhone into it after that. Man, I don't know what to do. So now I'm going to wrap this in aluminum foil, stick it back in there. We fixed that. Power works now. This is a local SIM card. It's too big for the iPhone. I'm gonna have to cut it down. Got this pair of scissors here. While I was sitting here chopping down a local SIM card to create a micro SIM for my iPhone to connect with, another surge came through and nearly caught our charger on fire, smoked, blew up. I do not have any clue how we're gonna finish this project without power tools. And then just when I'm snuggled in bed and happy at 11 p.m., this is what happens. It's coming our way. Come in here, guys. Come in here. Somebody won the elections.